Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We have just made some videos on um, replacing all the hydraulic cylinders and the pump in an XLR top and thought we may as well show you while we're at it to the positions, uh, the locations of the uh, micro switches and position sensors in the XLR top. Um, aside from the car needing to be in park and the trunk lid needing to be closed, uh, of course there is the uh, first micro switch, the uh, luggage barrier switch in the left rear corner of the trunk. Obviously your luggage barrier needs to be closed and we'll show you close-ups of all these switches. I'll just show you the general locations right now. So switch number one, um, luggage barrier switch in the left rear corner of the trunk. Switch number two, second most common one to be a problem is the deck lid open micro switch. It's located right here at the corner of the taillight practically. Uh, gets triggered when the deck lid is open so that the com computer gets a signal deck lid is open and you can now move on to the next sequence. Everything is logical. So once you understand the position and what these switches do, it's pretty easy to figure out why your top may not be working. Um, so bear with me, I'll show you the remaining switches. We had the luggage barrier switch, the deck lid open switch. We have three more switches in the front that are not very common to fail. There is the top locked and unlocked switches in the uh, uh, front lock here that simply tell the computer whether this latch has been latched all the way or unlatched all the way. And lastly, there is the top closed switch, which is in the far right uh, corner of the windshield header. It gets triggered by one of these pins when the top is inside the windshield header. So those are the five micro switches and then we have only three more position uh, potentiometers um, that simply detect an angle of a, of a linkage. Um, position sensor number one is the front tonneau uh, position sensor that is located in here. Again, we'll show you a close up soon. Um, second one is the rear tonneau position sensor is located right here here behind this plate and lastly there is the top sensor or top position sensor you can easily see it uh, with the top partially open um, follow the braided wires and you see it located uh, where was it over here behind a hinge we'll show you a close-up shortly so I'd like to add a few words about the um, position sensors, that is the top sensor, the front sen tonneau sensor, and the rear tonneau sensor. As I've said before in the video, those are potentiometers. Basically, if a computer puts 5 volts on the power end and the ground end, so to say, on this potentiometer, it will read whatever the uh, finger is, slider is. Um, uh, tapping off of this supplied voltage of 5 volts across. If the slider was in the middle position it would read like 2.5 volts. And um, this um, fraction of voltage that is read by the computer translates into a position marker on your Tech 2 reader if you have a Tech 2 reader. So if this potentiometer was turned to exactly half position you would get um, I believe 125 readout out of this, if I'm not mistaken, then these uh, potentiometers will uh, are divided into roughly 250, uh, if not 256 um, steps, so to say, digitized. Um, anyway, so the problem with these sensors could be that they kind of wear out, that the, actually the plastic that actuates them wears out and um, the wonderful Tech 2 um, scan tool will allow you to have the computer relearn the position of these um, um, sensors and um, that will keep you afloat for a long time without having to replace sensors. Now Cadillac has upgraded sensors uh, over the years and if you're lucky you can still get upgraded sensors and uh, have those put in and have your computer computer relearn or 
if worse comes to worse and you cannot get sensors anymore, you can be a little bit um, ingenious about it and simply play with small resistors added to the individual legs of the sensor to manipulate the data. So if uh, your readout was, I'll make up some numbers, supposed to be 100 in a closed position and 200 in an open position or vice versa, if you add a little bit of resistance um, uh, to the leg, then suddenly you will uh, get a slightly different readout. And you can uh, play around a little bit, um, think about how, how a potentiometer works and how you might have to add small resistance to uh, one of the legs in the readout, and you can actually manipulate this to work properly. Or if you're more mechanically inclined, you can simply manipulate the plastic linkage just a tiny bit to make these uh, sensors read properly again. A little is a lot. Typically, these sensors are off only by a few counts um, of the um, allowed tolerance that the computer has uh, programmed into it. I hope that makes sense. There is a lot of useful information on xlr-net Dot com, a very popular XLR forum with some super helpful and uh, educated, knowledgeable uh, members. Again, xlr-net.com. If you Google um, Cadillac top problems, you'll probably um, come across these uh, forum posts anyway. And there's nothing I can teach you that these guys don't already know. Um, just thought I'd mention how these potentiometers work in the first place. Um, it's not that difficult if you uh, put your mind to it. So here's close up number one, the luggage barrier switch simply inside here. Can you hear it? If it clicks, it works. And of course you want to make sure that it is actually connected to the wiring harness. This one currently isn't. We have bypassed it uh, for playing around with the top. So let's move on to the next one, which would be, would be the deck lid open switch. So here we are at the left rear tail light. We go back a couple inches from the front corner and look down. And here is a micro switch that gets triggered when the deck lid is open all the way. The deck lid mechanism will be pushing against this lever and you hear it click. If it clicks, it works. Sometimes what happens is that this metal lever breaks off and uh, that makes the switch defunct. If this switch should ever not be available anymore, you can come up with ways to make other micro switches with long levers work here. It simply is a closed circuit when it is clicked. We have uh, partially opened the top and taken the headliner off to uh, show the location of the header latch and header unlatch switches. And these are mounted above the mounting bracket for the front header latch cylinder. So you can see, you can see some metal clips here that hold the switches in place. So they're micro switches with levers up here and up here. They get triggered by the latch, obviously latching or unlatching all the way and basically if it clicks it works you could manually move this latch and hear the switches clicking if they click they work uh, if you want to make extra sure you could move over here to the um, uh, connectors for these two switches and ohm them out um, I personally would think that these uh, switches are very unlikely to fail they are very well protected and um, it would be one of the last things I would check only if my Tech 2 scanner told me that they're bad. Um, let me from here also show you the um, top locked switch that is hiding in here and it gets triggered by the black pin up here. It's in the right windshield header. You can stick your screwdriver in here. If it clicks, it works. That's your top closed switch. 
We have the trunk lid open and we're looking at the upper forward hinge corner of the trunk lid and here is our rear tonneau sensor mounted right here. It is a potentiometer that is activated by a plastic part turning, pushing in here. Um, the part number on this original one is 17006650 and as far as I know there's an updated version available for this one. It is a simple potentiometer with three input output pins on it meaning there is uh, imagine a circle uh, with um, a rider that simply gives you the ohms uh, as uh, this circle gets turned in the potentiometer. We'll do this over, sorry. Here we have the rear tonneau sensor. It is the, we're looking at the forward upper left corner of the uh, um, deck lid as the deck lid is open. Uh, you just see here the uh, still paint the forward corner of the deck lid and here is our rear tonneau sensor the original part number on this one here it's an early model year is 17006650 there is an updated version available for it as far as i know this is uh, simply a potentiometer that gets turned by a plastic lever that is actuated again by the uh, rear tonneau cover moving around. This is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and um, if you cannot get a replacement part for it, for it anymore with some ingenuity you can make this work to port perform within spec again. The top sensor or top position sensor is easily seen when the top is partially open and we here have the top uh, kind of at its highest position. We're looking down behind the corner glass and here at the tip of the screwdriver is the top position sensor. Again, uh, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer that simply gets uh, turned by um, the leverage in the frame. And uh, if this one was ever to not be available anymore, um, certainly something can be rigged or um, this can be with small um, resistors added to it uh, made to display the values that you need. Um, the original part number that I see on this part is 17003650 and there likely is an updated version of it available right now. So here we are looking into the XLR trunk from the rear and we've pulled down the forward um, cloth divider a little bit. You can see the forward tonneau uh, assembly and follow the wires you see the front tonneau sensor right here. Again a potentiometer 10 kilo ohms that gets uh, turned by the linkage of this front tonneau mechanism.